What's up YouTube? How y'all doing? It's Doc Wilson here. And today, I'm gonna paint my Blue Yeti. Now I know what y'all thinking. Doc, you're crazy. Why are you gonna paint a Blue Yeti? Well, mainly because I want to. So, let's get into it. Now first things first with this Blue Yeti, we have to find a way to hold it. That way, whenever I'm painting it, it's, it's a round object. I can't just paint flat across it and then rotate it and then paint it the other direction. So what I'm actually gonna do is put on this newer mic stand, which comes with this piece. And if you look, once I take this piece off, you got that. You got this, it's gonna go into that. If you guys can tell, it don't it don't exactly that yeah that don't that don't exactly work. So actually, there's a little piece in here which you can take out with a quarter. You just get your quarter in there and you turn it, and that will just come out. Once you have this piece here, you can take it and put it into your blue yeti. The only thing with this piece is it's plastic so you want to be careful not to strip it because the metal threads in the mic will end up stripping the plastic threads if you're not careful. But that's also way better than metal stripping metal and then this just be worthless. So now that you have that in there and you have tightened it up with the quarter, it will now fit on this. Also you guys might be able to tell right here there's a little bit of dirt I have touched this with my hands and stuff, and yeah, so I've got some dirt on it. You don't want any dirt or oil on it, because I'm gonna be painting it, I'm not gonna be sanding it, I'm just gonna be painting it. So I'm gonna take some good old rubbing alcohol and rub it down. So now that I've took it off the stand, I'm just gonna rub it all down, get it all good, nice and clean. Get a nice surface to paint. Take care of any oils that I have possibly put on it. So now I've just took one paper towel and just laid it on there. That way it'll dry and everything will be fine. There's nothing that can get on it because it's just a clean paper towel. Now the next thing I'll probably have to do is tape work. Tape off anything that I don't want painted. That's probably going to be the uh, knobs and you know what they mean as far as like gain and everything. Volume, mute, and all that sort of stuff. Now not only are you guys looking at my crotch, but you can see me tape this up. I'm probably just gonna stick to the little tape. There's kind of the uh, front buttons and logo, of course. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words, and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl, so I can only say that it feels right. It fe so, uh. There it is guys, I have taped up the bottom, cut a hole out for the newer mic stand. Um, I have also taped up the mic portion where you will talk into because I don't want to get any paint in there obviously. And I've taped up all the knobs and everything. I also made sure to tape up the names of what they all mean. Whether that be the volume on the front, and mute, gain, all that. I've, I've taped all that up, even the little holes on the side. I don't want to get paint in those in case I want to use the original mic stand again. I can. Also, another thing. I'm not telling you guys to do this. No, really. I'm not telling you guys to do this. If you guys decide to do this and you screw your stuff up, it's not on me. I'm just saying. Actually, I advise not to do this. But if you want to do it, go ahead. That's what I'm doing. But just a little reminder, you can screw up your stuff. So yeah guys, remember, step one, preparation. Pe pepper? Step one is preparation. Remember, tape everything off once you got all that taped off and everything. So I guess now that you got everything taped off, you kind of need to figure out uh, where to paint it at. So you need to find a place to paint it. I don't know where you live. I don't know what you're doing. Make sure you got a place to paint it where you won't get paint all over the place and nobody get upset at you. Now after that step, step two, 
I guess this would be step three. Make sure that you have good paint. I'm using Kryon, cry, what? Krylon, Krylon, there you go. It's a color master. Uh, it's a paint and primer in one, that way it's all good. All I gotta do is spray it and I'm good, that's it, done. And now different paints will dry at different times, so you can go between coats. Wait, wait between coats, whatever your can recommends. And I'm gonna be doing splatter painting, so I picked up some brushes. Just whatever was cheapest at the dollar store, these were a dollar, and also got these little containers so I can put paint in. I think they're for like food or something, but they're just itty bitty containers. Paint will fit in them, the paintbrush will fit in them. A lot of paint will sit in there instead of having a bigger container where you have to spray more paint. Saving paint here. Paint was more expensive than this, this was a dollar. Also, don't forget to shake the cans. This one I think recommends you shake it for, uh, I think it's one to two minutes, so just shake it. So, I don't know which technique I want to use with this splatter painting. I have a piece of white foam core that I'm going to use to simulate the whiteness of my microphone. That way I can paint this and see what it looks like before I paint that. If you guys don't have one of these, uh, a good thing to try is cardboard. Uh, with this being white or something else that you can paint that is white, this will really help because it will really just show the color. Now, if you're painting something black, it'll be darker. It's just, you know, colors. You put one color over top of another color, you know. If I use white, it's going to show the colors up a lot better and they're going to be just a little bit brighter. If you use something dark like black, they're just going to be there, but they're just going to be a little bit darker. So now I'm starting off with blue, which I've already got on my finger, but I've already started off with blue, so I'm just gonna take my brush and dip it in there and just kinda throw it on there. This is throwing it on, and then this right here is just like with my finger. It's kinda hard to tell. I think I'm gonna go with something like this. Also, if uh, you're gonna be doing it with your finger, if you're gonna be doing it with your finger, um, you might wanna use a glove. I didn't have one. So, yeah. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right. Going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must. Also, if you uh, <laughs> check out my nice redneck stand here, I got the mic on a piece of wood on a table, hold down by some clay pigeons. Also, to note they're not actually pigeons, so keep the whole uh, you know, save the, the animals and stuff to yourself or clay targets. Look at all the blue, turn into a dang smurf. Now time for some red. First little bit, it'll actually soak up a lot. So you don't really know how well it's gonna do that first time. So you might wanna throw it on something else. Be in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. We know I ain't ballin' yet. Hoes wanna holler, oh no, I don't call them back. Girl, let me see you hold it down, we gon' have a blast. Cause I just wanna know what you gonna do with all of that. Ain't gotta say a word. This is kind of uh, it for now. This right here is kind of it for now. Um, I will show you once the paint's dried what all of it looks like. But for now, this is just kind of what it looks like. Another little bit of advice. Whenever you're spray painting, whenever you're done, turn the can upside down and spray it. What that'll do is clear out all the uh, paint that is left in the nozzle. See if I can demonstrate here. Upside down like so, and then just, you see now it's no longer spraying. If I go over here, the grass did not get spray painted. 
there you go that's how you clean out the nozzle on your spray paint and it'll help you next time you go to spray paint it won't be all clogged up save you some paint but now's a perfect time for me to peel that tape off that microphone because you don't want your paint to be completely dry whenever you take off that because it can actually pull some of your paint with it you also don't want it to be wet because then it'll run and that kind of a thing so you you want to wait until it's kind of tacky it's almost dried but it's not really uh, you can touch it but you know you can kind of feel it's a little sticky uh, you don't want to leave any fingerprints or anything of course but uh, yeah let's get to pulling this off well I guess it's about time to show you guys the final product boom give you guys my own little effect on the blue yeti I think it looks pretty good I can't really put it like set it down anywhere because it's still kind of tacky I gotta let the paint like completely dry and then not really mess with it for a couple days let it completely cure but if I can get some better shots of this thing I will include it in this video I can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you're the right girl so I can only say that it feels right it feels right Yeah, so that's that's kind of how it turned out. Um, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I'm really excited. I like how it is. I like how the white is. I like how the uh, the tape worked pretty good. I do have a couple spots that are, are pretty close, like right there. It's pretty uh, pretty close to the the blue emblem. So I almost got the blue emblem blue, but. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing too bad. I didn't. It don't, doesn't look like I got paint anywhere I shouldn't have. Um, I really like the way that the gang knobs are. It's almost like it's like a little cut out there. Yeah, yeah. I really, I really like it. I think I'm really going to enjoy it. Uh, again, I'm not a professional, so I just, I just kind of went with it. I think it looks good. It's good for me. I've got my own unique microphone. It's one of a kind, I guess. Unless you guys watch this video and then do the same thing. Then it's going to be two of a kind. <laughs> Unless another person does it in three. You guys get the point. Anyway, right now it's one of a kind. I've, I've done my own little thing. So, anyway, like I said, you guys do this at your own will. Um, I'm not responsible for anything you guys screw up. Um, so, just make sure you cover everything up. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Or if it helped you out, let me know in the comments. Tell me. Come on, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this. And again, I'm not responsible for anything you guys do. So if you guys tear up your own stuff, that's on you, not me. I didn't tell you to do it. But I'm really happy with the way this thing turned out. If you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, if this video was helpful to you guys, please leave it a like. Don't forget to comment and tell me what you guys think about this. Again, I'm not a professional, so don't be too hard on me. And uh, if you guys enjoy my videos, you want to see more of them, hit that subscribe button. You'll get them all the time. I'm the Doc Wilson, and I'll see you all next time.